Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal! Yay! So, that's always incorrect, because we said it incorrectly. It's been a while. For the recording time, anyway. I'm pretty sure all these episodes are going to air one right after the other in good fashion. Anyway, uh, we left off... What was the last thing we did? We got, like, the fourth badge, I think, from Chuck. And after Chuck, we kind of determined that it'd probably be better to, uh, or at least she sort of determined it'd be better to grind and train up for the next gym leader. And I guess the rest of the game also, in a way. So, yeah. So. Oh, I didn't save. <laughs> didn't save what? Uh, I didn't save, like, the last bit I was doing. Just the last bit. I should have everything else. Let me check. How do you forget to save? Anyway, it's been a while, I don't know, uh, but whatever. All I know is that we're back, which means our next goal should obviously be to go back and give the medicine to the person and then take on next gym leader. Cinco. And with that, we'll be over the halfway point. At least in terms of gym leaders. Or six. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we took out five, wow. We've been at this very quickly. Yeah, so I got. If you haven't noticed, I got the map, which you wanted to see. Oh. Cool. Map. And I got the HM Fly. Stuff. I got... Oh, I thought that was later. Mm -hmm. mm. Unless you went across the ocean again with Sir. Oh. Which I kind of did anyways. <laughs> I was training off screen. Um. I got Umbreon and Nine Tails for the daycare. Ooh, yay. So, so are we using either of them, or...? I don't know, I haven't decided. Like, I don't know if I should use Nine Tails or Han Boom. Blur turns out better, I suppose. Where are we right now? Oh, we're at 39. Okay, that's good. Random trainer, asshole. And we're back in Ovaltine. <laughs> was this a uh, Chuck's place or was this? No, this... that's across the ocean. Right. I forgot what his place was called. We were there very briefly, and we were talking about a bunch of other things. So. Oh yeah, I I caught one of the roaming legendaries. Turned out to be Ho. Uh, that was something. I was low on balls too. <laughs> so what do you know? We're right. That was the last one I think. too. Did you guess a Ho -Oh at all? Huh? Did you guess a Ho? -Oh? No, I guess Lugia. Right, which okay. Which I think was the Suicune. But I I recognize Entei's cry, but I just couldn't put the name on it. So I guess Entei will be O. Okay, because we obviously... The I legendaries were, right. were randomized out, so... Instead of running into and catching Entei, we... Uh, or she ran into and caught a ho -Oh. Yeah, and our shiny... Whooper is gonna stay here forever, because... Found out it evolves into Fortress. Yeah, that was funny. That was so shit, man. I was upset. I have no real use for a Fortress. And I think I'm just gonna at least smooch him here, actually. Since I already found out what it evolves to, it's not that great <laughs> either. Yeah. It evolves into Beedrill. We probably should have dumped that starter a long time ago, but there was always so a hope. Curious. There was always a hope that it would turn to something cool. It had two chances, and they both failed epically. See, I'm taking him. And Jim, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Mew's a psychic type, but Mew doesn't have any psychic moves, so I'll take, I'll take Shem, wow. Now, Mew will eventually learn psychic moves, and can we teach Mew any psychic moves? Yes. Like, if we get TMs or HMs. You can teach Mew anything. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's all randomized anyway. Oh, and so. I found just a random Lugia out of blue. Oh, yeah. Was, I only knew, like, Arrow Blast and Safeguard thing. <laughs> Did you really name the Lugia Hans? Yes. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I don't know why I was thinking Spongebob. <laughs> That's so dumb. But that's awesome at the same time. So yeah, so we have a new team, I guess. They're all well-trained. 
We don't have a disappointing smooch on Beedrill Paris abomination. Oh no, I think I left the Hondoom in the daycare. Like... Probably. Yeah. I assume that you might have picked them up, but then didn't save. last bit and it's not much has changed really and we're just ready to continue with our domination of the Johto region this is gonna be fun with the sixth gym leader which I was unaware we were up to six honestly they just they fly by it's pretty awesome yeah. so that's uh, oh I did I did I think I did actually let me check one more time just to make sure everything is fine and dandy. Yeah, I did. I was a, a club fairy from the bug couching contest at the time. Well, that's not correct at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I won. And I got a sunstone from it. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we're all caught up and we're ready for... Whatever's next. Um, Time to deliver that fucking medicine! Oh, that means you gotta go back up the tower? Yeah. Jeez. Here we go! <laughs> you know, uh, old games always had that good thing. Like, I brought this up before. I don't think it was in this playthrough, though. I think I was just talking to someone. How in Spyro levels of the original Spyro the Dragon game, I believe, and maybe Earthos Rage, when you completed a level, uh, they would open, like, a warp or a door or some ledge, and if you drop down the ledge or whatever, you'll be back at star level. You know, it loops you back around. So you'd think that they'd have the decency after you reach the top to, like, give you an elevator or a big ladder that you can just step down and you're done. Back to the bottom floor, right? And also that actually works going back to the top, but nope! That really sucks. How dare they make us walk. Maybe. Secret potion. Yeah, you just you just finished talking about that. I just made it to the top. That was actually faster than I thought. <laughs> That's an Ampharos? Yeah. How dare it be an Ampharos? I guess it's happy now. Who cares? Yeah. There are a few holes we can drop it in around this tower. Wow. <laughs> and there she goes back to the gym. So does that Ampharos live here? Yeah. That's its bed? It's the source of the light in this lighthouse. Oh, <laughs> of course. Just like, uh, uh, what was it? Experiment 624? I think. Zappy? Or whatever. I don't know. You remember the electric one? He was a pretty big deal. He was one of the ones that was in the movie. When they first introduced the other 626, oh. 25 oh, experiments. Yeah. Oh. I think he was 624. Oh, so I gotta try to remember like, what you're talking about. Like, oh. Because oh. 625, I think, was Reuben, the one who ate the sandwiches. Yeah. Who came right before Stitch, and they made a whole big deal that he's the strongest Stitch, but he would rather eat uh, sandwiches than do anything. I'm gonna tell that one part in the series where he actually kicked ass, like the last episode, I think. Which, by the way, most amazing thing ever about that series was the fact that he was called 625, I believe, the entire series. And it wasn't until the like the the series finale that Lilo realized, huh? I never gave you a name. And she named him Ruben. And I was like, that's amazing. Yeah. Never, that never occurred to me, but that was, that was pretty cool, honestly. Fitting name, too, all things considered. Steel type. I think you told me that, and I forgot it immediately. Yeah. Hello, Dr. Joe. <laughs> when are we going to fight Dr. House? MD. He'll sass us to death, that's what he'll do. Tyrogue uh. is not steel. What'd you say? Huh? No. <laughs> Tyro is like, not what steel. What was that look for? <laughs> I was just thinking aloud because I gave Pony to a hint power, but I don't think I figure out exactly what kind of hint power type it was. You had plenty of time to look it up. <laughs> yeah, and one reason. Well, it just a lot of things have. Uh, it's really funny. I can't, when I originally came back to uh, to to like visit, ah, oh right. Why was I so freaked out that it wasn't steel type? It's randomized. 
Oh, what? Is that why? I thought it was just a, like a running gag thing you were going for. <laughs> I totally forgot that the game was randomized, and of course, you might not have any steel types at all. Oh well. What was I gonna say? Right. I came back here to do this LP. Or just to do an LP, straight up. And, uh... Then I actually discovered that I could run uh, uh, and play a bunch of N64 games on the TV using my computer. And then I did that and was obsessed with that for a long time. I found a way to make Dungeon Fighter work on my laptop that overheats every five seconds. So that also got in the way. Uh, what else did I do? I need better healing items. <laughs> Essentially, a lot of things, it's like, I I always want to do something else than record this. Not that this isn't fun. Oh, right. Uh, fucking Pokemon. I started watching the anime, as I said, a few times. And then Bye. that... I, I, I would rather watch the anime, like, use my time to catch up on it. Because at the time, there were like 60, 70 something episodes. I don't know. So I wanted to see them all, and I did. And then... And then my birthday came on the 19th, and I got Xenoblade Chronicles X, so that's a whole nother thing. I've spent an entire week playing that nonstop. I believe I already logged 60 hours into that, which is not surprising at all, honestly. So, yeah, just basically... Oh, hey, look, oh, a steel type. <laughs> so basically, yeah, that was, the whole sh that was the whole shtick as to why this one, this episode, at least in recording time, is quite separated from all the other ones. But we're totally gonna handle this and handle the entire game. It'll be all nice and dandy. Oh, and right, that's the perfect Pokemon for- ah. Yeah, it was about to happen. Sonic Boom! Which reminds me that, uh, I was- It's really funny, because I'm also watching Ray play Pokemon Coliseum still. That slowed down, too, because I've been watch doing so many other things. But, uh, fuck. Yeah. But um, he's had this issue where it's like every single trainer in uh, Coliseum just loves to paralyze, confuse, and use Earthquake on them, and it's really annoying. Really annoying. I can't believe anyone has the patience for that shit. <laughs> that game is very much not for the quick... Type. I mean, I'm surprised we'll speedrun that game because there's no way to skip the battle animations, is there? No. Jeez. Because like in the handheld games, it's not really that big of a deal. We had the animations oh. off for uh, most of the first few episodes, and I didn't even really notice. I, I like I remember we turned it off, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then I totally forgot that they were off. It's like, oh, we should turn them back on. I'm like, they were off. They were. So you know. But on the console games, the attacks are bigger, more grandiose, so it's like, maybe there are times when you want to not be that big and grandiose. Also, we won and got the mineral badge. So we're about halfway through this episode, and I, I realized, I think it was two episodes ago or three episodes are ago. Are you kidding me? What? The TM is Tackle. Best TM ever. We got So we got a Shut TM for Tackle up. and a TM for Bite? Oh, I, t I taught bike to Umbreon. and that was useful. Oh. Tackle was not useful. <laughs> I demand we get the TM for Splash next time. Shut up. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay, so, like, seriously, three episodes ago was when I was talking about... It was ab about that much, I don't know. I think it was a Let's Talk Pokemon episode? No. I don't know when it was, honestly. I don't remember at all. But I, we, I went into a pretty deep conversation about, like, two... Maybe three episodes of XY only out of like the 60 that there are and In all that time Me being the fucking loudmouth that I am never let what's her face over here say anything so for the next 15 minutes of this episode. She'll be leading the conversation about the XY anime ah. and I'll just be like ah. yeah, that's cool or uh, like ah. I'll, I'll <laughs> I'll throw in little things, because <laughs> honestly, uh, listening back to the episode, I felt like an asshole. Which, I mean, it wasn't, oh, it was wasn't really that intentional, but it's just like, oh, yeah. I know, that's just you. Yeah, I talk a lot and I don't let other people talk, so that's and what's gonna happen. I don't talk enough, that's me. <laughs> so, yeah. I just, oh, I'm a, I'm a terrible conversation starter. Yeah, 
But we have something to talk about now, and that is because we both caught up with uh, Pokemon X, Y, and Z. Sort of. Well, One more episode came out today, I haven't seen it yet. So, um, we can talk about literally, you're open to open a conversation on any episode of the anime, except for the latest one. So, the last one I saw was Ash's battle against Wolfric. And anything <laughs> between Ash arriving at Kalos and there is totally up for conversation. So is there any episode or anything you want to talk about specifically? Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly like where we last uh, left off and talking about it. Yeah, because um, we definitely didn't go in order. Yeah, just we just kind of hopped all over the place. We spent a lot of time in, about on the Gudra episode because of how bullshit that was. Yeah, I also thought it was kind of bullshit too. Yeah, I'm very sure, I'm very sure she did actually say something in the episode. I was convinced that I didn't let her say anything about it, but I think she did. It's probably just a little thing, but, uh... Just probably something small. Yeah, either way, I... neither of us really oh, like that. Oh, I left the animations back on. <laughs> a right. Weedle in the water. <laughs> yeah, neither of us really liked that episode. No, it was a terrible episode. I, I think, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in there, but, like... Considering everything was resolved in the end, they could have just left floor just to take care of everything. They really could have. Exactly. Gudra didn't need to stay. There was no reason to. Yeah, that's... Oh, hey, look, it's Suikun. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah, that's completely and entirely true. That was bullshit. Leaving behind Gudra was a dumb. Uh, but, uh, yeah. No, no, no let me see. What? Probably ShamWow to do it. <laughs> do it. Not oh, teleport's useless. Yeah, and I have someone would fly. It's pretty much useless. Uh, okay. Who's gonna do? We can't do. Didn't cry though this time. A lot of episodes, a lot of good ones in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, I do oh, remember. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> uh, the Olympia episode, the Olympia battle, is by far my favorite one. That was fucking crazy. That was so in fucking intense, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Olympia gym fight was indeed pretty awesome. I was amazed that it took the entire episode. Like, I mean, all the gym battles up till now took the entire episode, but that one, it's like, it felt... The reason I was surprised, I think, is because it felt like it was even longer than that actually was, I think. Like, I think it did take up, like, 90% of the episode, but I felt like it had gone over the episode limit. Like, I didn't feel like I watched a 20-minute episode at all, so that was pretty crazy. I'm like, oh, this is just gonna be a double battle, that's it? And it was an amazing double battle, that's for sure. With uh, the two two espers, right? No, the two uh, meow sticks. Meow sticks, and um, Ash had. God damn it, Bob! <laughs> fucking stop calling us Talonflame and Greninja. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, Frogadier. No, Frog Frogadier. Yeah. It didn't evolve at that time yet. Not yet. It evolved like three episodes later. Yeah. Oh man, the evolutions have been going on and off, going off. For quite some time in this series. Yeah, yeah, those are evolutions I of mean, the it ass. It was really slow at the end, at the beginning, but like now it's like one after the other. Got the uh, the Fennekin into the Brakes and the Froakie into the Frog Deer. Fucking. Uh... Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, I don't remember if I said this. Probably not. Um, the Power Plant episode was the one where um. Clement's Luxio evolved into a Luxray, and uh, I was like, whoa, this is actually happening? But the thing that confused me about that whole thing was I totally forgot that Luxio evolved into Luxray. In my head, I kind of fused <laughs> Luxio and Luxray into the same Pokemon. So Yeah, they are pretty similar. So when, when uh, the Who's That Pokemon came up and it showed Luxray, and they're like, Luxray! And I'm like, yeah! And I'm like, wait a minute, because like, in my head, what I was visualizing was Luxio, who we, who uh, Clemens had for I think maybe three or four episodes at the time, um, and uh, 
when when Luxray cried, I was like, um, wow, that's a very deep Luxio, like in my head. Like, why does why does Clement sound so different from that one? Basically, it doesn't. Th there's something's wrong there. And then when it evolved in the in the episode, I was like, oh, my brain was fucking with me. I totally forgot that it was it was a uh, Shinx Luxio Luxray. I totally forgot that that was a three stage Pokemon, which was my issue. Like, I don't know how I forgot that, except that I guess it's just a Pokemon I didn't really think about. I think in my head I I I, I identified the Shinx line to Honda or Houndoom, uh, Manectric and Electric. Yeah. Like the dogs, all the dogs, Growlithe, Arcanine have two forms, you know, most of them anyway. So it's just. So I just naturally did that's a really it was a really dumb moment for me I, I was honestly convinced they were the same Pokemon and looking at them. It's like No, man, Luxio's fucking huge It's like what are you Luxray? I mean, it's like what are you what are you on about? But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So I, I, I like that when that evolved. That was pretty awesome and that, That's what that was your uh, mind-blowing uh, who's that Pokemon moment <laughs> Yeah, kind of in the way that I had no idea what it was that it just happened. Like, Luxray went, Luxray! And then went back to the S and I'm like, what was that? It, it really lost me. You know mine, right? Um, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm so mad at myself because, like, I was told, because uh, I said that I was going to watch the anime because of 60 episodes while doing something else, but that I'd be missing out on a lot. And while I did sit down and watch a few, a lot of, a majority of the episodes, I watched actually sitting down and watching, but I did eventually put some on the side while I was playing a game or something. Mm -hmm. Although there were a lot of times where I just stopped playing and just started watching the episode because it was getting really interesting, like some of the gym battles, or all the gym battles, you know, basically. But, um, the Zap this episode? Yeah. Who's that I... Pokemon? Ah! <laughs> it's Zapdos! I unfortunately, I unfortunately missed that totally. I was not paying attention at all to that. I was like that episode was just kind of playing. users. <laughs> that episode was just kind of playing on the background, and I was like, "Oh, cool, Zapdos." And then that's it. I wasn't really paying attention right uh, here up until uh, what happened. Um, Nobody evolved that episode, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that was when I started paying attention. Pretty fucking sweet! When Noibat turned into Noiburn was when I was like, Oh shit! And then from then on I was in the episode. But everything before was kind of like a haze. I wasn't really paying much attention to that episode. Didn't really didn't really grab me. Which is funny because Zapdos is my favorite bird. I forget, I don't know what I was doing at the time, but clearly something was diverting my attention away from the Zapdos episode. Uh, that said, um, from what I remember, it wasn't that bad of an episode. Uh, uh, Noivern and, uh, or just the, um, Ash fighting against Zapdos is pretty cool. Dang. You know, it wasn't like a straight up curb stomp like the Moltres fight was. So, uh, it was, it was more interesting that way, anyway. Yeah. I need to go watch it now, though, the, uh, that Who's That Pokemon segment. <laughs> I was confused because I thought when you had told me about that, because I think you told me that you liked one, it was a dragon type that you, you found really funny, that just screamed, I think was what you said. So, you know, Salamence came and went, and I'm like, that wasn't it. You know, so I was like, what's she talking about? <laughs> I really wish I'd caught, I'd caught that, so I definitely need to go back and watch that again. Fucking Persian, don't ever use Slash again. Oh my god. <laughs> Still salty about that bullshit. I'm so much salt. <laughs> I'm really glad that we used our exact same team, though, and actually beat that guy, though. Like, we didn't change. No surrender. Aww. That was like a butcher mimic. <laughs> it's so cute though. I butchered it so bad. Hi Flappy. I know. I personally like Flappy more than Ampharos. Personally. Because Ampharos don't have fur. Until the, the, Megas. The, the fluff is really cute. Oh. Yeah, then it, then, it, then it channels its inner Fabio and it's... <laughs> it's very strange. <laughs> I'm just exploring right now in this cave because I skipped it entirely. <laughs> like, oh. it took me a really long time to figure out I can skip this cave, you know, <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> it's like, well, might as well do it now. Um, but yeah, yeah, that'll give us something to do and we can end off the episode as we're about to do the next gym fight. That'd be pretty good. Do we have uh, to do anything before we do the gym fight? Yeah, we have to go to the Lake of Rage. Oh. 
Then we'll do that. Um, anyway, uh, what was... That's another episode that was I cool. still haven't, like, taken the animators off yet. <laughs> I keep forgetting to. Oh, yeah, me too. But, um, <laughs> all, the, all the gym fights were indeed very cool. Like, I don't remember a Violas too well, because I watched that one a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, that was... But all of them, uh... Granted, there were some that... Well... What am I trying to say? None of them were bad. Not at all. But, um... I don't... Like, maybe you can tell me. I remember you told me, before the Grant fight, that it was a cool fight. Yeah. So I watched it, and I'm like, it was okay. You know, like, I wasn't sure what about it was that grabbed you, specifically. Because, like, I didn't hate it, again. I thought the Grant fight was cool, but it's like... Like, I did enjoy it, it's just like... I, I don't know, I was expecting something more. Like, maybe a moment to make me but, go, whoa! But there was really nothing in that fight that was, like, super crazy. Uh, I think it was just in interesting for me. Um, God, I'm trying to remember exactly, like, where... Cause it reminded me of something, but I... I like, one of the, uh... The, a past episode from a past season of sorts. I think he's like done it before, but it's it's oh god, I'm trying to find a word. I can't. <laughs> Cause if you don't remember, that was one of the many fights in which Ash Ketchum broke the rules and jumped off the rock slide, which you don't do. Yeah. And then he jumped off the Draco Meteor, which you don't do. I guess uh, a callback or something. And then he wanna... broke a trick room with X Scissor. Which you don't do. Yeah, he breaks a <laughs> lot of rules. <laughs> a lot of rules that you would you consider rules, but like, no. <laughs> Ash Ketchum tr clearly takes lessons from Seto Kaiba's "Screw the rules, I have money" type <laughs> of scenario, but in this case, it's "Screw the rules, I'm Ash Ketchum" sort of thing. Um, but I guess that's that's more about how Pokemon fights just go in the anime. Yeah. There's more control over what it is that the Pokemon do. Interesting that he was uh, climbing those rocks the way he was doing it, and I also like, I also feel like that was it was a reference from an episode way back when, in, in the past couple of seasons or something. I think in Seno he did something similar to that or something like that. Like I remember kind of any thing. of the previous seasons well enough. I need, to, I honestly need to find. See, the thing is about it, it's like you sh if you want to look for something on YouTube, you have to really find the good of it, or else you're just gonna find bullshit. Like, basically what I want to look for on YouTube is, like, best moments of the Pokemon series, basically. And just, like, uh, people who collect assorted moments, and, like, I don't care if they present mm -hmm. them in the top ten, or in a, or just in a best of general moment. I don't care how it's done, as long as it's put together well, and if there is narration or someone talking about their thoughts, as long as they do a good job on their part, then it's something entertaining because I, 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 I'm pretty sure I didn't watch like what six seasons of Pokemon because I hated it or anything like that back in the day. I just kind of fell off of it, but I, I'm pretty sure I enjoyed most of what I saw, and then I just left it because well, that's what happens when you watch a show for years. Even Power Rangers, which I'm a huge fan of, I dropped off of it after Lost Galaxy. I want to say in the middle of Lightspeed was when I dropped off. Um, not Lightspeed's Ow! fault, because, wow, that sounded really loud. Uh, I kind of felt that would fall eventually. Phone? Yeah. But yeah, I just want to see a collection of cool Pokemon moments, see if I remember any of them. Because there are a lot. It's like, Power Rangers has a bunch of assets, I'm pretty sure Pokemon has more. But uh, I don't yeah, know how I many. Yeah, I think it's... I'd say over maybe almost a hundred. Or passing hundreds of So they have, there are more Pokemon, there are more episodes than there are Pokemon. Yeah. Hmm, the, the, <laughs> the games need to, like, make a 300 Pokemon generation so that no. they're in the lead for at least, <laughs> you know, a year before the anime kicks up. But, um. That hurt yeah. my foot, like, fuck. <laughs> I don't remember what else. But yeah, I, I enjoyed the Grand Fight, though, you know, nothing bad about it. Cool time. I think it's funny that he followed up the Onyx with the Tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's better, though, than his game team, which is just Tyrant and Amora. Yeah. 
Once again, that was one of my issues with the XY gym leaders. None of them in the game, none of them felt too threatening because they hardly had any Pokemon. So even if their if one of their Pokemon started kicking your ass, chances are you still had five other Pokemon that could deal with the gym leader's one Pokemon. And I was like, I wish you guys had more, that you were tougher at least. Like again, I will say Olympia was the one that gave me the most issue. Out of all eight of them. Um, I don't remember too much about anyone else, but, uh, Olympia was definitely rough. For me, anyway. Um, beyond that... I think mine was, like, Corina, just a little bit. Just a little bit. The Elite Four was... I overleveled myself for the Elite Four. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, Diantha... I have to switch around my team. Yeah, Diantha was pretty good. Uh, she, she did, uh, hold me, uh, the first time. Not too badly, though. Oddly enough, the second time I fought Diantha, she was worse. Like, as in, she was kicking my ass for at least half the fight before I turned it around on her, so... It's like, the comeback kid was great. <laughs> so, yeah, so, but, uh, the anime, just, you know, I like seeing the Pokemon, the, the teams and the gym leaders and all the stuff that they have to, uh, Ash whip out. Ash Ninja is beast! <laughs> yeah, Ask for Ninja is the most anime thing in the Pokemon anime I, ever. Uh... <laughs> like, straight up how he summoned with his own aura, and how he literally just zips around the field, like, disappearing completely, leaving nothing behind, and kicking Pokemon, like, in across entire battlefields. It's yeah. like, that is beyond anime. Yeah. Like, holy shit. I don't, I don't even know if the Pokemon anime has had such anime moments like that. No, that, that I will consider the first. Because it is an anime in its own right, but I mean, like, like uh... that is, like, so blatantly... Like, other things, but it's so enjoyable. Like shonen, shonen action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, it, it definitely uh, is. It's really cool. Though. I like, I like all the Ash Green Ninja stuff. Yeah. I, a I, very I, simple name, so I really do think that Clement should have had, let Bonnie have it a bit harder than he did. Yeah. Because she's I know. always shitting on his inventions, having such obvious names, and I'm like, come on, Clement, this is your one chance to get back at her. But uh, regardless, I thought that was pretty cool. Oh gosh, what is that? Uh, so that's a Gen 2 Pokemon. It got Miss... Miss... Miss, miss Megaeus. In the second? Third Gen? Or... Four. Okay, cool. I, I kind of thought the four. the evolutions were four. I thought, I thought four, but I wasn't entirely sure. Yeah, so that was an interesting. When, uh... What, it was a black-white gen that I was like a... What they call a soft reboot. Mm -hmm. Where they... Where when you played black-white, you can only catch black-white Pokemon until you finished it. Yeah. Um, the black white gen. Okay. <laughs> was it the only one that did not introduce evolutions to previous gens? Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Because, like, gen 2 obviously had a bunch from gen 1. Gen 4 had, at, at the very least, since Megaeus. I don't think so. Uh, gen 3, I, I don't remember. I don't recall anything. Any, like, old evolutions in Jet 5? No. When was Honchkrow? Four. Honchkrow's so cool. I know! Like, I remember. I distinctly remember when, uh, when I was first shown Honchkrow. Or the thing. When I was told about, like, the mob boss Pokemon or something like that. I, I think, mm -hmm. I think she had told me that. And I was like, really? And I saw him, like, whoa! I really liked it, so. Honchkrow's pretty awesome. Um. Got nothing. I think I found out it's... Type is, is him powers water, I think. I think. It wasn't very affecting his grasp. It's like dealing massive damage on these ground types. Ooh. So I'm guessing it's so, water. That's interesting. Yeah. So it's basically like Ponyta's water move? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Him power depend depends on IVs, which are the invisible values that you can't see. Hmm. So where are we going right now? We still head to Lake Rage? Yeah. Cool. Alright. So I know I said that I wanted this to be a 30 minute episode, but fuck it. Oh. We'll, we'll just get I was to the wondering. We'll <laughs> just get to the Lake of Rage and we'll call it there. Okay. But um uh uh, uh er, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anime, <laughs> anime has material. Anime has material to talk about. Um, let's see. It absolutely does. Um I love I love I love seeing all the mega evolutions and seeing uh, where it is they exactly come into play so far. Yeah. Because we've seen uh, Sycamore has a mega Garchomp. That one uh, Nurse Joy had the mega Odno. Mhm. Mm uh. Of course, Karina had the mega Lucario. Which, by the way, 
Those arc, the entire arc of episodes where they're hanging with Karina. I didn't want her to leave. Yeah, she once was they were pretty, done. She was pretty fun as a partner. And yeah, stuff. once once they were done, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. I, I thought she was awesome. I thought she was a great character. Uh, she has yeah, one of my so favorite voices in the entire uh, anime. Oh, uh, for so me, far. it's Shauna. Yeah. I love the way I love hearing Shauna speak. Yeah, Karina had like straight up my favorite voice. I think I looked it up and I already forgot who her voice actor was. But um, I need to look it up again because uh, I really liked her. So that was another reason I didn't want her to leave. So, but um, she was awesome. So. Uh, that was that was a, it was a great series of episodes with her uh, there, and the whole mega oh there was a mega mawile in that mm -hmm. in that arc, you know. Man, I just Team Rocket does a lot of dumb things. Then picking a fight with Diantha and her Gardevoir was like the dumbest thing they could have ever done. <laughs> like holy shit, it was hilariously stupid. Like both times that they tried to, I think they tried to go after after Gardevoir twice. I think so, yeah. And both I think they did. And both times was fucking hilariously bad. Um, but uh, it's like, really? Come on, guys. Like, going after Ash, I get it. You know, some of the other people he hangs with, I get it. But fucking Diantha? Are you serious? Like, it's, just, it's hilarious. Hilarious. Which, by the way, like, kind of in reference to Diantha and also in reference to Karina, was uh, that one episode, which I love it, when for some reason the characters have been split up and their Pokemon have also somehow been split up. So a different person has to command one of their friend's Pokemon, and I like it when that yeah. happens. I think that's really cool. When Karina had to command Pikachu to fight against Team Rocket was, I think, the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. When Karina just told Pikachu to attack, and Pikachu was about to move, and then just looked up back at her like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, come again? You know, and then got beamed by Team Rocket, and I was just like, I thought that was fucking hilarious. I don't know. I don't think it was supposed to be as funny as it was, but I found it really funny uh, when Karina was like, Oh no, right, I'm supposed to tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm like, no, really? Yeah, duh. <laughs> I thought that was pretty damn great. Um, and that was an awesome moment. But I do love it whenever uh, the, uh, the the characters get to command the uh, their fellow buddies' Pokemon for whatever reason. I don't know, I just I think that's really cool. Even if it's like really brief. Okay. Dead end. Yeah. Oh! oh. I, oh, I kind of figured like maybe you knew that was there, which is why you hit it that way. No, I was guessing. Oh. <laughs> but I, I figured every time like there's like a uh, like a stop and it's just a little crevice right there, it's like I gotta check. <laughs> That's true. That's true. There are there are a ton of games. I actually don't know if this is even remotely true because whenever I think about it in like video games that I have played, sometimes I go to uh, if I'm playing any game that has collectibles on the overworld, uh, I go to these yeah. very. Uh, separated like little nooks right yeah. hidden in the background levels and I'm like why is there nothing here this is the perfect place to put something yeah. and then I realized later there was something here you idiot you picked it up like 20 hours ago because there would obviously be something hidden back here you know that kind of thing I feel like games do good of that it's just that the problem with it is that you then get it and then when you come back later you're like why isn't anything here and then you kind of forget that you did have it regardless uh, I, I like that kind of stuff um this guy's weird. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little detour. Shadow Ball. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. Apparently it's also the only move Jessie knows. Uh, I'm yeah. just kidding. Jessie actually has more variety when she fights with her gore guys, whereas James is always exclusively Psybeam. I think the voice actor tackle. was hard hard pressed to come up with like 25 million different ways to say in case I beam because holy shit yeah the poor bastard has to do it at least three times in every battle like I'm like does Inke really not have anything I know he uses tackle every so often but it's like that's literally it yeah it didn't really like train their moms or anything that's true but man just yeah, I, 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 I do like, like their Kalos team with the uh, Inke and Gore guys I wonder what happened I truly, 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 truly wonder if the Remnice, the randomized Pokemon that takes place in Gyarados will be shiny. Like, well, the only way we have to know if things like that work. Well, I mean, uh, when, 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 when. <laughs> I like I knew you were gonna just when roll with it. shit. <laughs> Whooper! When the shiny Whooper evolved, it evolved into a shiny fortress. Uh -huh. And it was golden, so maybe. And I guess the only other way to know for sure is to find 
the roaming legendaries. Uh, because maybe they were all swapped out specifically for other legendaries. But the only one we know for sure right now is that Entei was swapped yeah. out for Ho-Oh. Yeah. So that's the only one for certain. If we find Raikou or, uh, or Suicune at all, and they're, you know, legendaries still, then maybe they swapped it out. I don't know. I'd like to think they did, but who knows. Once again, I, I could have sworn we left static Pokemon unchecked. So, yeah, um... Sure but that pseudo Wudo, I believe, would have counted as a static. I think so. And it was swapped out for, what, like a Murkrow? Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get there. I was just trying to find a Mart for some Pokeballs or something. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to be anywhere else. Alright, the fucking the gen the not the gen the um yeah showcases were indeed cool. Oh I, my god, they're I remember, like the fucking best. I remember she told me uh, when I first started because I literally just saw I think the first one. I saw the second showcase. Uh, I was gonna see the second showcase later. Um, uh, that, that they get better, and I'm like, well, I wonder how they could get better, you know, I wasn't, it's not like I hated it, because once again, they didn't show too much of the first showcase because of what happened. I guess I'm gonna but, just um, to wing it. <laughs> yeah, they were really cool. Um, very interesting, and the, the Masterclass uh, performance is definitely, like, the top of it. So, the whole Masterclass, which, by the way, was a two-parter episode, which I'm like, holy shit, they're, like, taking their time with this, was, uh, it was really fun. The Masterclass episodes were awesome to watch. Honestly, when Jesse won one of the showcases, I was like, nailed it. I was kind of hoping she'd win at least one in an episode. So, uh, just just because. Um, but, uh, I thought it was pretty great. And, yeah, Jesse and her gore guys. Holy shit. That yeah. fucking thing. Is uh, they... I watched at least, like, one of those episodes with you. And all I, all I heard in the background was... <sighs> like, wow. I'm just like, because... I, I honestly shouldn't be surprised again. It's fucking, it's Jesse's Pokemon. Of course it's gonna develop that way. It has to hang out with her all the time. You know, so of course it's gonna be a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the word is. But, uh, yeah. So, that'll put a cap on, since we're at the Lake of Rage now, that'll put a cap on our XY chattiness. But it will continue. This, uh, this was, uh, XY yeah. Part 1, and next episode will be XY Part 2, and... If we don't get it all out, there'll be an XY Part 5 as well, but who knows. Uh, anyway, Lake of Rage, so until next time, hasta! Mm -hmm.